Oh, well, welcome. I see you're here just in time for breakfast. I'm using my uh, induction stove top right now, and it's uh, it's not affecting the power at all. In fact, the power is going up from where it was this morning with the sun out. Now I've got this set at medium, medium high, and uh, making myself a really good omelet here with some ham. And the dogs are just watching me. They think they're going to get a piece of this. They're not. And I'll just hit off. And we are done. And we have a delicious breakfast. Ha ha ha. Yes siree. Ham and eggs. So I'm going to sit down enjoy my breakfast. And we will talk with you guys later. Well, welcome to Narrow Vision. Ah, uh, yep. Well. That was a good meal we had yesterday for lunch. I like cooking on my stovetop here using solar power, saving the propane for the heater and uh, whatever I might need it for that I can't use solar with. So anyway, we had a hell of a last night, I tell you. Um, I got a wind warning on my phone for this area with wind gusts up to 35 and that progressed in the early night to gusts of 40 45 and I swear it was more than that because it woke us up about 1 15 in the morning and this little 19 foot class B RV was going <laughs> And the wind was howling past us, and you could feel <coughs> and taste the dust inside here. It was such a forceful wind in the direction it was hitting us. I thought for sure it was going to lift us up and tilt us over. And I was going to wake up tomorrow morning sleeping on my side, looking up at the ceiling, which would be now the wall over here. And uh, the dogs were scared to death. Uh, Kate cuddled up to me and she was worried that Sarah would sit up in the dark just shaking like a leaf and wouldn't lay down again. So, whew, trying to calm my girls down and wondering what the hell was going on because outside it sounded like the skin was just tearing off the RV and the roof was coming off and the solar panels were flying away. It was like all hell had broke loose. But, man, I I wasn't going to open up that door because with that wind and the way we were rocking like this, man, if you if you needed Dramamine, you would have needed it last night to get any sleep. I tell you, it was insane. So I finally sat up with Sarah as she sat here in the dark. And we're all rocking back and forth like this. And the wind is just howling like we're in this, inside a cyclone or something. And uh, I think about... 3 a.m. or 3.15, we were so tired of sitting up riding out the the wind in here that we all just kind of collapsed finally. And we woke up, or I woke up at 9 finally, to find out what's going on. And it's another beautiful day, sunny, everything. Um, and then about noon, the wind picked up again. It's probably 25 miles an hour again. But I woke up expecting to look around and find everybody's uh, carpets and uh, little cooking tables and chairs all over the desert and everything looks fine so I don't know how the hell I staked everything down because that wind was rocking I tell you and I got out walked around my RV because like I said I swore they were taking the panels off the side and ripping everything off the roof it was insane 
but to my amazement there was no damage to the windows the windshield the uh, outside of the RV uh, and it, it sounded like man we were just getting pelted with everything and I was thinking man was that somebody's lawn chair that just hit us and went down the side of the RV and it was just like that I've been crap what was going on in the dark and I'd lift up my shades here to look out but the darkness and the dust and the, the light reflecting off the dust you couldn't tell what the hell was going on so anyway I'm glad that uh, we made it through the night you can see Sarah didn't get hardly any sleep so she's snoozing and it's past 12 now already but yeah everybody's still here nobody got blown over None of their stuff is scattered everywhere. So that's pretty amazing. And I'm up here on a slight mound because I know better than the park in some of these lowland areas because uh, I learned that in Boy Scouts. You don't, don't pitch your tent in a low area because when it rains, you're going to be floating on your air mattress for sure. And uh, anyway, well, we made it through that. We're here for a little bit longer. I'm thinking if I stay here longer, we're just going to go over here to the uh, center of the world. And I'm going to get my little plaque that I can take home, frame, and put on the wall saying that I was at the center of the world. Now, maybe next time I can go to the center of the earth. I'm up for it. Heck, what's life if not for adventure? So, let's see here. Yeah, I've been making notes. Like I said before, I have a notebook here that I I keep all my thoughts in. And I've got a hell of a lot of thoughts going through my head constantly, like a six-lane freeway. I think I've reached the point at 70 where I've actually forgot more than many people have learned <laughs> up to this point in their lives. So uh, I keep track of my thoughts and things on paper so I can refer to them I can adjust them refine them alter them whatever it, it helps keep uh, from so much in the head getting clogged up you know like a traffic snarl and let's see here yeah I've been thinking some things out making some plans I've discovered that if I do this again, take a trip for more than four months in length, that I'm going to have to get me one of them cargo boxes that you can put on the hitch in the rear that swings out. I'm going to have to pick up one of those so I can help get some of the stuff out of here and put in there that I don't use on a daily basis, which will give me a lot of room in here. And then I've been seriously finally considering getting an e-bike. And I think the e-bikes I'm looking at are by Electric. And they have a factory in the shop here in the uh, Arizona area. And they fold. And they're really well rated from my research. And I'm thinking, well, okay, uh, I got a spare tire on the back here, on the driver's side. So I need a one of them big travel boxes that I can put my uh, collapsible ladder where I use to get up and alter the angle of the solar panels and some other things I don't use that much within the RV. Put that in the big carry-all box on a swivel that swivels out so I can open up both doors there. Then figure out how I can put a folded electric bike on a rack on top of that. Uh, trying to find racks they make for already folded bikes so you don't have to have them all stretched out and uh, take up all the room across the back of your your RV I haven't found one yet if you know of any brands that are made to hold a folded electric bike please send the information to me I'd appreciate it but um, other than that we're just hanging out here Enjoying the weather and uh, 
I guess we're just going to try to get some sleep to make up for last night. So, like always, hey Sarah, you woke up. Oh, you got morning hair, don't you? What a mess. So anyway, the girls and I, as always, wish you happy trails and woof woof.